My brothers and sisters, just action is something that we need to be concerned with in Jerusalem and the Middle East. Tuesday of last week, we got together and had the kickoff for a brand new order of lay and clergy combined, an order of service to the people of Jerusalem and to the Palestinian community as well as the countries that surround it. Just action is something that they need. They need people to stand up for justice and stand with them in solidarity. We as the people of God have been called into be in relationship with the men and the women of Palestine and the Middle East. And being called into that relationship, we must take responsibility for being catalysts of change that will bring the kind of peace we see in South Africa to the people of that part of the world. I hope that each and every one of you will take a pilgrimage and see firsthand what is happening in that part of the world. Our young people have done that and they qualify for this order. We have many adults who've done that and they qualify for this order. The only other things of action that they have to do is pray daily for Jerusalem and focus on giving of yourself, your heart, and your mind to the people there who are oppressed. I know Bishop Suhail Duwani depends upon this diocese and other dioceses in this nation to be supportive and be a group that will hold him up in prayer every day of their lives. What are some of the practical things you can do in the way of just action? We, as the people of God, are called to educate other people so that they can know what's necessary. One of the ways we first started is with Educate for Hope. It's a program that's based in Zabapte, a little town just north of Nablus, where kids couldn't go to quality education or quality schools because they didn't have the money. We have over 35 young people who are in that program now because of contributions from this diocese. It's hard to believe, but $750 a year will buy their full education for a year, will provide their uniforms and their books at the Latin Patriarch School in that region. And in doing so, they learn Hebrew and they learn English as well as their native Palestinian Arabic, and they're able to work, earn a living, and go on to school at a, of higher, schools of higher learning. How can you be the person who rings the bell for freedom? How can you be the person who joins the order of the Jerusalem cross in order to support people who have been in pain and disenfranchised? I thank you, and I hope that you will participate in this community that we're building. The thought is overwhelming To think that things can change And the voice that I was hearing Is seeing the same, just that thing Things can change